Good morning. Ugh, I'm so tired. This is Pugsley, by the way. I actually sleep with him. He's my favorite. Let's get ready. <laughs> Okay, so when I wake up in the morning, I make my bed really, really quickly because it's kind of hard to make. And then I just head on over to the bathroom. And this is where the magic happens. These are the products that I'll be using. So number one, hi, how are you? <laughs> I start off by taking out my hair from my bun and shaking it out a little bit. And then I'm going in with my Virtue Recovery Shampoo. I'm actually working with Virtue on this video. They are sponsoring it. I've been loving their products the last few weeks. They've really been making a huge difference on my hair. So starting off with the shampoo, I focus it mainly on my roots. I also don't neglect the under side roots because I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about that but I think it makes a huge difference when I cleanse my hair and then I just wash it out and wring it a little bit drier so I can go in with my virtue recovery conditioner and this stuff first of all the products smell really nice but they're just such a great consistency the conditioner is very thick which I love so I rub that between my hands and apply it on my mid length to my ends but I'll use my fingers and kind of just rake it through like so and then I will put it up in a bun to kind of get it out of my way while I do what the other things I have to do in the shower so yep there's a bun and then I go in with my sage sage coconut kiss exfoliating coffee scrub it smells really good it smells like coconut and cinnamon and coffee grounds it's really really beautiful actually so I just put that all over my rough spots anywhere that needs a little bit extra exfoliation in the winter time and oh my god it smells amazing and yes I rub myself down that sounds weird but yeah so I will wash my hair again rinse it out and then I put it back into a bun just to kind of again get it out of my way while I cleanse my body and this is the Glossier Body Hero cleansing oil it is so amazing I'm obsessed with this stuff it smells like neroli and really classy French esque body care so I wash everything I don't neglect my back my armpits and everywhere that needs a good scrub down <laughs> so then I go in with my CeraVe foaming facial cleanser this stuff is really simple and really gets the job done and I always use these little scrubby pads to wash my face with I think they do a better job than just using your fingers and yep just basically that's me washing my face that is all I do in the shower and then I go in with some body hero body lotion by Glossier I love this stuff hashtag towel shot yes this is me and my towel I look cute so I just apply it all over my body again on all my rough spots any place that I'm particularly dry and I'll just sit in bed for a good long time on my phone scrolling through Instagram Sliding into people's DMs, stalking some people, you know, the usual Sunday fun. And then this will go on for a while. Six and a half hours later. So when I finally decide to get up and face the day, I am pretty hungry at this point. So I decided to make a light breakfast. I'm not a huge breakfast eater, so I made some oatmeal. I'll either have oatmeal or cereal or something, and I was feeling this clementine. So I decided to have that as well. And I love tea, so I decided to make myself a nice hot cup of tea. I don't really drink coffee, so tea is usually my drink of choice. And I love this Celestial Seasoning Sugar Cookie Sleigh Ride flavor. It's for the holidays. Tastes like a sugar cookie. It's delicious. And I'll just take that in my room and chill for a little bit. And then when my hair is pretty much dry, I will take it out of my towel and just start styling away. I use my tangle teaser and start from the ends of my hair and work my way up. This is something I've always done. I heard it's good for you and I do it and it works for me. Once my hair is tangle free, I go in with my Virtue products. I've been using these for a few weeks now and I love them. First, I go in with the Perfect Ending Split End Serum. This stuff is very light, but it really gets the job done. And of course, I 
I apply it directly on my ends, of course, and I just kind of rake it through. And this product really just helps seal everything in and make my ends look healthy. And then I go in with the Virtue One For All 6-in-1 Styler. This stuff is so great, especially if you're going to be using any kind of heat, blow drying, curling, straightening your hair. It's gonna really extend the life of your styling. So I love this stuff. I apply it from mid lengths to ends, and that's all you really need. You need like a quarter size amount, not much at all. And then I go in with the Polish Unfrizz Cream because I'm going to be blow drying and curling my hair, and I want it to be sleek and shiny and healthy looking. So I apply this this as well from my mid lengths to my ends and then I just use whatever's left over on my hands and just put it on my roots to prevent any flyaways and then I just use my tangle teaser and brush everything so it's all nicely combined on my head. <laughs> Then I go in with my Harry Josh Pro Tools Pro Dryer. This is such a great blow dryer. It's so fast and so easy and very lightweight. Oh my god, Jackie, stop. Jackie, stop. So then I'll flip my head over and blow dry facing like against my hair, so not going in the opposite direction, going with the cuticle as to not cause any frizz. And this is what it looks like when it's done being blown out. Sometimes I will just put it in a bun, let it set, and wear it just like that, but I decided to curl my hair. I like to blow dry my hair before I curl it sometimes to make it really sleek and pretty. So I will just brush it out, decide on the part that I want, and then split my hair into two different sections and I will just start curling away. I am going in with my Numi curling wand. This is the one inch, I believe. And I just take about one inch sections and curl them going away from my face. I also like to like hold the ends out to make them look more natural and not super defined. And I don't leave it on for very long. I leave them on the iron for maybe like five to 10 seconds each just to kind of give it, you know, a little bit of a wave, not a super defined curl. And you can see I kind of like rake them out with my fingers to make them look more lived in. And I just do this to my entire head. So when I am done curling, I will just rake it all out with my fingers again, kind of get the pieces looking the way I like. I really like the undone, kind of lived in, messy, beachy look. It's usually what I go with. To finish the look off, I'm going in with the Virtue, the Finale Shaping Spray. It's just a really lightweight, flexible hold hairspray. Gives my hair a lot of volume and really extends my style for a very long time. I love this stuff. It's really easy for me to go in and scrunch it in towards my mid length to my ends and giving it that roughy texture that I love. And yeah, I just do this to my entire head and what I like to do is I like to spray my hands with a little bit of hairspray and just apply that to my roots just to combat any flyaways and voila, my hair is done. I love this look. Thank you so much to Virtue for sponsoring this video. I love this brand and their products and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>